I have to warn you, I've done this video for the Z5 and the Z8, and this is definitely going to be the most boring because, in my opinion, everything feels good on the Nikon Z9. I mostly shoot portraits, and so everything that feels a little more awkward on every other camera, it just feels better on the Z9 whenever your arm isn't reaching over. And so the weight of the Z9, yes, it's heavy. So if weight is a concern to you because you've been sold a lie that mirrorless somehow equals smaller and, and lighter, the Z9 is not the camera that you want. But me, I don't care about size and weight. I just want the stuff that I like to use. And so we're gonna get into it first with the Nikkor Z 24 millimeter F 1.8 S. Somehow it's only just a little bit back heavy and it just feels right. I swear, like I feel like the Z9's weight is nowhere else but right here, right at like its center of gravity. And in my hip area, being a short guy, I have a low center of gravity. I feel like the Z9 has a low center of gravity. And so even though the Nikon Z9 is heavier than this lens and it's clearly heavier, tilting back a little bit, it just kind of still feels good. I think the biggest problem with all of these lenses, since I'm mostly a portrait photographer, that I should just get this out of the way, the Z9 highly outperforms what I would use any of these lenses for. Over here, shooting a 24 millimeter landscape, I'm not using 20, 30, 60, or 100 billion frames per second. <laughs> then of course, the 20 millimeter F 1.8S. I actually wonder, yeah, it's a little heavier than the 24. A little bit longer, too. This doesn't have as much tilt back, and it feels just even better in the hands than the than the 24. Even though there's not that much difference, I don't know why that feels just so different. Again, there's just normally what I would use the uh, these wide-angle lenses for. I'm probably just taking the Nikon Z8 anyway, unless I'm doing, like, scenic portraits or something like that. Yeah, it, it feels excellent. It just looks a little silly because the 20 millimeter makes everything look silly because it's just a silly looking lens. Getting a little longer now, we have the Nikkor Z MC105 F2.8 VRS, the macro lens. Now that feels fantastic. Uh, we're pretty much parallel to the top of the table here. Uh, popping it over for portraits because this is an excellent lens for portraits. Feels marvelous. I don't have hardly any tension on my fingers. It feels super comfortable, doesn't feel scary, doesn't feel too long. It just works, man, it just works. It sits in such a good spot for the palm. Yeah, baby, that works. Uh, but using the, the Nikkor Z MC105 F2.8S with the Z9 4 macro, I, I mean, I'll happily do it. I will happily do it. That's what I did before I had the Z8. Um, but I only take the Z8 out to do macro photography now because the Z9 does feel a little funky on uh, the tripod. It's just really big. It's just more crud to carry around. But as far as hand holding, doing some flowers, right? Doing some macro stuff, like some bugs handheld or doing portraits. Man, it feels good. It's It's got really good balance. Moving on to the Nikkor Z135 F1.8 S Plena. Now this is right up my alley being a portrait guy. We, I mean, we're just barely off of parallel to the table, right? It's, it's really close to straight. Boom, boom, feels super good. Now this one kind of overall, it just feels heavy. It's a heavy setup, but it doesn't feel like it's bias in either direction. And so it's it's a heavy camera, a heavy lens, lots of glass and metal. And so of, of course it just feels heavy, but it, it feels balanced, like it feels right. And boy, is it ever right. God, this is a killer combination for portraits. Moving on to my former favorite lens of all time, the Nikkor Z 50 millimeter. F 1.2s. I have probably shot 10 or more thousand images just with this combo. Let's check the balance. We're noticeably dipping forward finally. This lens is heavy and it's longer than like everything else here. And so it, it's gonna have that 
that uh, that tilt forward, but we only just barely feel it right here. It for the first time, I feel like the uh, the weight isn't centered on the Z9. Uh, with all of these, whether it was front heavy or back heavy or whatever, it always felt like it was in the same spot. Uh, this one doesn't. It does feel like it's moving forward. But because the Z9 is so big, unlike with the Z5 and the Z8, it does feel excellent just sitting like this. That fits just perfectly right there. And then right here, it just fits so perfectly right here. And so while yes, it is front heavy, um, probably by weight, the heaviest setup here, I have to double check the weight on the 51.2. It's still as awkward as it may look. It doesn't feel like that. Mm. And man, the images you get out of this combo. That was my former. Now looking at my current favorite lens of all time, the Nikkor Z 85 millimeter f 1.2 S. Again, this one feels heavy. It's a heavy combination, but it doesn't feel, I mean, it feels like we're back at that kind of center of gravity that I explained earlier. We do have a slight tilt forward but actually holding it, it feels straight. It, it, it doesn't feel bias in any direction. God, this right here, this is just a dream maker. And then it eats your dreams and you have to go and dream again. This combination here just makes you want to go shoot portraits. It makes you want to find new people to shoot. It makes you want to reinvent the way that you shoot portraits. Oh my God, it's so good. And then weight wise, it's encouraged like it encourages you to go because it doesn't feel insane it feels heavy but it feels right it feels in order it doesn't feel like it wants to dip it doesn't feel like it wants to um creep up like this it just feels good my friends at the end of the day i know some of you are out there thinking that you want a small lightweight compact kind of setup and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that I'm not that guy. I want the best tool for the job and really nothing else. I will literally deal with any inconvenience to get the kind of image that I want with the tools that I enjoy using. And I enjoy using all these tools. Always remember, your skill is more important than the gear, but the most important gear is always going to be glass, 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 glass. So rent before you buy and maybe don't worry about having a kit that's this big and weighs this much. I'm Z-Wade, the Z-Wade, and Z-Wade Photo. Stay sharp, YouTube.